And we are back once again with Slime Isekai Memories. Once again, continuing the story mode of chapter 21 and seeing how all this wraps up in the Isis saga. Or, I guess maybe this could potentially be a different saga now. Since it seems like there's going to be some new problems. But right now, we're going to go ahead to Isis's supposed village that she was born in and find out what happened to it. Oh yeah, I really forgot that these two were battling. Oh, you can block that one too. How fun. The slimes around here sure are fun. Hey now. You're setting the bar too high. You can't expect the wild slimes out here to be as strong as us. Anyhow, this really is... Beyond our expectations, right? I know Lady Milam isn't going all out, but even Shincha's pairing skills are incredible. Here comes another one. Wait, which area hasn't been deforested yet? Oh, over there. Look at that! She's guarding while deflecting the energy blast towards the areas that are planned for deforestation. Doing that against Milam is truly something. So, you can deflect single shots, but how about this? Drago Busta! No! Calm down, Milam! Get out of the way! Shinsha! Like, damn, she went full force. She brought out the Drago Buster. We've seen that move in the ultimate attacks, and I think she used that one with Carabas. I'm pretty sure. There's no way she can dodge all of those. On the left side, we have... Answer. A swarm of energy blasts. On the right, we have... It seems like she's accepting her fate. Or she's about to get out of this because that's no sweat to somehow, like, dodge all of Milam's blast. But let's see what happens here. Answer. A swarm of energy blast. Gah! I'm so scared! I can't help but go on the defensive. But if I clench my fist out of fear... I won't be able to hold anyone's hand. Shinsha? Hands are for holding. So be brave. Open up your fist. And reach out. Okay, I'm guessing she's gonna use the handshake of purgatory. And that's how you do a handshake. Okay, so now she can do two hands. I'm guessing she's going to do a clap. That's the only thing I can imagine. It's weakened. Oh. I'm guessing that's the blast in the middle. So she's like catching it or possibly deflecting it. It's one of those two, but... Interesting on how she's improved this technique since the first time we've seen it. Although I think we saw it originally in like... Eh, chapter 5, 6? Somewhere pretty early in the story. And it was basically the same for the entire time. All the way up until chapter 20. So, I'm glad it's getting improved. So now she can use two. That wasn't me! What did you do? It's not just the two-handed purgatory handshake. There's something in between. Their hands. It's... A force field compressing the entire space has been generated in front of the individual Shinsha. It is gathering all the dispersed energy in one place. Is it the same black hole that she made with Gluttony before? Stop it, Shinsha! You're going to self-destruct again! 
Don't worry, Papa. Palms together. Woo. That was delicious. Okay, so she ate all the blast? I'm guessing she uses the hands and then uses the force field gravity thing to suck in everything with gluttony again. But she uses the hands to kind of control the area and probably help push in whatever she's trying to eat. Oh yeah, the two-handed purgatory has predation effects. My skill got eaten. Does it taste of anything? Of course it doesn't taste of... Um, it's more like a flavor than a taste. Moon's energy has a nostalgic flavor. A nostalgic flavor? Answer. Shintra sensed some partial similarities between the magic heels of Veldora against in once existed within her and the magic heels of the individual Milam Nava. Okay, so means that... Yeah, so she doesn't have Veldora against anymore. Similarities between the magic heels of Veldora against that once existed. Ah, I see. I never sense anything like that, though. Hold on. I want to go back. That once existed within her and the magic heels of the individual. Yeah, so... He's completely gone. I guess he's just in Isis now. So she can probably transform back into the dragon form whenever she wants. I assume that you had not had the experience of predating Milam Nava's energy master. On top of that, powers that exist within the individual Shinsha, which I have not yet finished analyzing, are having strong reaction to the powerful magicals of Milam Nava, who is the descendant from dragons. Powers even you haven't been able to analyze. That's what Great Sage just said. So, you can't see it, Papa. Then, maybe you can figure something out, Papa. When Mother became a demon lord... Number of human souls required to cause the seed to sprout has been met. Commence evolution into an awakened demon lord. So, did Shinsha slightly evolve? Did she get, like, a gift when Isis became, like, a demon lord? Because that's what happened with all of Rimuru's subordinates. But Isis was kind of being like, no, don't, don't give her gifts. But we'll see. Wait, did that come from the words of the world? But why was it speaking... To me? Huh? Mother! What's wrong? Mother! Um, um, which one is the medicine cabinet again? Answer. There are no cabinets in this space. And there is no medicine to cure the folly of the one who seeks to be a demon lord. Demon Lord? My mother mentioned that word too, but what is a Demon Lord? The Harvest Festival to evolve the individual called Isis into a Demon Lord will now begin. My mother is... She's going to evolve into a Demon Lord? Upon completion, gifts will be bestowed upon those connected to said individual. I thought I'd be given something as a blessing, but nothing really happened. Still, I felt that something within me increased. And now, ever since I encountered Milam, that something has been growing restless. What could be happening? 
Puberty? Who knows? Hmm. If it really was a blessing, you would have received some powers that you wished for. Did you wish for anything? No? There was no time for that. Mother couldn't get out of bed. I'd gotten so sleepy that I fell asleep. And when I woke up, that dragon. Okay. I was a little confused when, like, Issa's first passed out and she told Shinsha that she wanted to be with her or she wanted Shinsha to be there for her. So I didn't know if Shinsha, like, fell asleep on purpose because, like, I'm guessing that's a comfortable situation to be sleeping with Issa's. Or if it was, like, involuntary, so means her being a subordinate of Issus, like, triggered the transformation, and so she just fell asleep from that. Um, that red dragon trapped me in its stomach, and there was so much going on. It seems unlikely that you're getting taken over by the fake Veldora is unrelated to the reaction you had to Milam's magicules. Raphael, do you know what Shinsha's blessing was? No. Analysts by a third party cannot be performed. Well, I guess I'm just going to wait for you to find out on your own, Shinsha. After all, parents shouldn't be over-controlling with their kids. Let's try to find out more about Isis, since it was her awakening that gave you a blessing. Thank you! Oh, and Milam, do you feel better now that you've had your fun? And did you remember whether or not you met Shinsha before? Oh yeah, I was fighting her and to try and remember. It was so fun that I totally forgot about that. You forgot about forgetting? Hey, but before I knew it, Shinsha started calling me by my name instead of that girl. So, I guess I taught her a lesson. So, I don't care about whether or not we've met before anymore. Me too. I was so focused on trying to fight creatively to help with the deforesting that I completely forgot about all of that. Well, if you guys don't mind, but boy, I never thought I see you had the skills to fight against creatively against Milam like that. Although, when I first fought Milam, I gave her some honey and we became friends. Ooh, hearing about honey after all that exercise is making me really hungry. I want a meal and then a hot spring bath. Come on, let's head back to town. Yeah, I'm starving too. Let's all go. Man, she's barely tired at all. The speed at which she's growing is incredible. I hear that the last time Shinsha fought Isis, that she was able to be the same level as a half-awakened demon lord, Clayman. But now she's clearly... Yeah, she's stronger than that. But she hasn't awakened. It's not like she's been trained by Hikaru, or that there was an event that increased her match kills during the time that she spent here. I've never heard of someone gaining strength through simply learning how to cook. Although, I do know a certain someone whose dishes become tastier when they got stronger. It makes sense to assume that those unknown powers within Shinsha are about to blossom. She sure is a mysterious girl, but I'm excited to see how she'll grow. Yeah, and seeing that she's grown, she definitely won't use her blossom powers for evil. If she can show more mental growth and learn to refrain from using the wrong powers on the wrong person, she should be able to handle Isis too. I'll help you out. So, keep it up, Shinsha! Alright, something amiss. Also a grasp like gentle wings. 
I have to train too sometimes. Damn, I want to read his quote. But yeah, a grass like gentle wings. That's what I was talking about the hands. That she can like touch real gently with those hands and not hurt anyone. Just be like a force field or shield. So I need dark. Damn, I'm a little underpowered by like 20,000. Yes. Woo! I had a lot to eat, a nice bath, and now I'm feeling great. Oh yeah, how come you only went to the men's bath today, Rimaru? Ah, well, that's because even though I'm genderless, I call myself her father. So, I feel uneasy about entering the woman's bath when my so-called daughter's in there. <laughs> I think it's a little too late for that. Huh? What does what, that mean? I don't understand. And why does Shincha has blue hair again? These developers keep using the wrong models for the wrong scenes. We need pink hair Shincha. But what does Shincha mean? When my so-called daughter is in there. Yeah, I don't know what Shincha means by this, but... Rimuru is trying to be unproblematic, and Shinsha is going a different way. Huh? What do you mean? Well, I once sneaked a peek and saw Shion and Shuna fighting over you in the women's bath. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. This is a little different than. Uh, being inside the woman's bath with your so-called daughter because that's two girls that are in love with him but <laughs> But they're not blood related or at least you don't think of them as Daughters, so it's completely fine because they're interested in Rimaru, but he's not interested at all in his daughter Or then that would be a bit weird Seriously? When did... No. Let's talk about something else. By the way, Milam, you must have skipped your studies to come here, right? Sure, but Frey and Carrion are busy dealing with their imposters right now. So, they won't mind. Ha ha ha. Imposters? Imposters? Also... Milam could probably help them in an instant with that, but instead she's over here goofing with Rimaru. What? Can you tell me more? Apparently, there are these guys that look like Frey and Carrion who are showing up in all sorts of places, recruiting Lycanthrope and Majin who mistake them for the real ones. Mistake them for the real ones? I suppose there are means to copy their appearances, but even if the Majin are being fooled, that must mean that these imposters possess the same amount of magic kills as the original. I mean, would the normal citizen know, like, how strong their leader was? Like, they probably understand their leader is pretty strong, but they probably can't exactly say how strong. So that means if I don't know, if imposter carry on could probably whoop the ass of like 10 or 20 soldiers of theirs, then I can kind of see the mistake because usually when a skilled uh, person is like just destroying people, you really don't question it on how strong they are. Yeah, and that's why they're extra concerned. That said, Frey's always so nosy. So, she'll probably come and pick me up soon. Sheesh! I wish she would worry about herself. Alright, I better be going. Shinsha! Make sure to get even stronger by the next time we meet. So that you can entertain me some more, okay? Okay.
Papa, she said, imposters. Yeah, it's hard not to come to the same conclusion based on what happened before. Oh yeah, so it means they're thinking Isis is doing this by making imposters again. So, you think it's mother again? No, not necessarily. In fact, I got a feeling that Isis might not be behind it. Really? But why? I fought so many imposters that Isis created. And one thing I do know is that Isis can't generate an imposter who's as strong as a demon lord. Hold on. And one thing I do know is that Isis can't generate an imposter who's as strong as a demon lord. I am so confused by this line because like she has gone and demon lord awakening and then she supposedly could have her dragon form in the back that could have helped. It, even if it was a temporary boost of energy, she probably still has something remaining of the Veldora form. So that could also enhance her Mirror of Delusions or Mirror of Reflection creations. So I don't know, he's doing some big assumptions from her strength before becoming a Demon Lord and then her Veldora stuff. I feel like he's just missing a lot of context clues that are very obvious here. She succeeded in creating a fake Demon Lord Gale, but she shouldn't be able to create something stronger than that in the class of the 10 Great Demon Lords. She succeeded in creating a fake Demon Lord Gale. So I'm guessing that's the Orc Thirst that he's referring to since the current Gale and his father shared the same name. But she shouldn't be able to create something stronger than that in the class of the 10 great demon lords. Was the orc thirst like a fake demon lord? Like the original orc, orc disaster or whatever he was called, like was nearly a demon lord power. Like the orc thirst being a demon lord does make some sense, but she made demon lord Fabio which I would imagine is stronger than the Orc Thirst. But he clearly doesn't mention that here. I have no idea, like, if it's, like, mistakes by the game or I'm just overthinking this and somehow they have stated that everyone after the Orc Thirst was somehow weaker. Even though it seems like everyone else was stronger at that point that was created. True. I've never seen one that strong, probably. Sure, there was that fake clay man, but that was birthed from the perpetual motion generated by the loop loop, a tower of infinite mirrors. Okay, that is actually super cool. I'm glad they mentioned Mad City versus Tempest. Because when I did the summarized version in the event, they skipped over it and I was confused. I, I was like, is this event canon to the original story? Like, I don't know. With them just skipping it, it just seemed like they didn't want to touch it with a 10 foot pole. So glad they are mentioning it here. I mean, it's a little late than, than when I would have expected it, but okay. But she also birthed the, the fake clay man, but he says that was created by the infinite mirrors. Also, I wonder, is Tower of Isis also canon? Like, did he escape that? And so that means he beat all the floors? Because from, from my understanding, it should go like Tower of Isis loop loop. That should go like somewhere between the story parts. I forget which chapter, like, Shinsha got knocked out and taken. I think it was like chapter 18. But yeah, Tower of Isis had to happen after uh, Rimuru became a demon lord because he was already wearing these clothes during the original scene of Tower of Isis. And so 
after that, he got trapped in the mirror world for a while, eventually got out of the tower, and then Clayman got out of that, started working with Isis. They did their plan for Tempest versus Mad City, and then after they were defeated, you know, Clayman went back, or whatever his name was, because the only thing I can think of him as Clayman. But yeah, that had to happen at like chapter 18 or 19. And then everything else that happened with Isis happened from there. Like the dragonoid form and her becoming a demon lord. And so that's how we are to here. Alright, well after that long-winded speech on all my theories and how this timeline even works... That place couldn't be controlled, even by Isis herself, but it can generate copies of incredibly powerful demon lords. However, those copies can escape from the mirror world. That's why I find it hard to believe that the imposters of Frey and Carrion were created by Isis. After all, Isis' skills were mostly limited within the mirror. What if Mother went back into the mirror and created fakes of Milam's acquaintances? And if she used the Amalthea skill that she learned last time? An ultimate skill that can create a universe within the mirror with whatever laws of physics you desire. I guess that could even create a copy of one of the former members of the Ten Great Demon Lords. I, I really do kind of hate this a little bit because Rimuru isn't taking into account it's a wide variety of demon lords powers like Gi has the top echelon of power followed closely by Milam and then there's everyone else like near the middle which would be like Luminous, Dino, Drago, or whatever his name is, the giant, and then probably Leon somewhere in that middle. And then there's like everyone else at the bottom, which would be actually, eh, uh, I would say, I guess a little below all of those guys would probably be Rimaru. And then below him would be probably Ramaris. And then it would be Clayman, Carrion, and Frey. And so, like, with all those guys literally below him, he has fought a copy of himself. Why he doesn't think she can create copies or... I guess that was technically was the mirror world that did that. Whatever mirrors they used for the mania or... Paranorma? So something. Paranoia. I think that's what it was called. The technique on the sleeping Shinsha, and that's what created Mad City. So it means maybe, maybe you could technically count that as not Isis. But still, I have brought so many points to say that there are stuff just as strong as Demon Lords. And with everyone having like so many different strength levels, where it's like even some of these guys that aren't awakened Demon Lords are somehow getting in there. It's very tough to say that Isis can't make someone that's demon lord level because so many of these guys are actually pretty weak in comparison to like the other demon lords. But would she really go back to the mirror world when she was so desperate to get out of it? I can't imagine her doing that. I mean... If your only power is literally the mirror world, then I would imagine that it's like you would want to utilize it. It's like the only problem is, is if she didn't know if she would be trapped back going in. Because imagine if your skills are like all in, let's just say fire or something, and so it means you have to work with fire, or your only skill was working with technology. But everything else, you were like zero skill points in. You would want to work with that particular thing. 
even if it would be dangerous or if you would have to like try really hard to find it. So, considering her only powers literally mirrors, that's how she created like workers for herself, how she usually would get food, like however she would like create it, I don't know, in the mirror world. She would probably have to utilize it. Me neither. Since she couldn't create a high-class demon lord on her own, she tried to turn you into an awakened demon lord. And then because she'd been gathering sacrifices, she herself awakened first, right? Yes. They made the Spangle Maidens go out of control. That was kind of a loose plot thread. Like, we killed one of the Spangled Maidens, but there was still, like, three or four more left that were still causing havoc. You would imagine that they probably are still out there causing, like, havoc and everything going on. Or, they could have possibly transformed and evolved when Isis turned into a Demon Lord, since they are creations of her and Shinsha. Maybe they fall more in the line of Shinsha, but that would be kind of cool to see them pop up again. Because I just feel like they just let that disappear and act like no one would know. Oh, there was more than one Spangle Maiden. I can't imagine she would create a fake of another Demon Lord when she herself has turned into an awakened Demon Lord. My brain is just racking up, like, oh my god, the, I don't know, this cutscene, this everything is, like, making my mind just go wild. Why Why would she not want more allies that are demon lords? Like, you can never have too many allies, and you can never have too strong of an ally. But this probably isn't even Isis, as we've, like, already discussed. But still, his line of reasoning... I find is just completely wrong. I feel sort of relieved to know that mother wasn't behind it, but this is still causing trouble for the real Frey and Carry On, right? I'd also be sad if everyone thought mother was the culprit, even though she's innocent. After all, even I suspected her at first. Yeah, this is really worrying. We better not just head to Issa's hometown, but actually meet her once in person. Have they been keeping track of her? I would imagine Soy or at least a couple of his squad are probably on that job. It's like, this is a potential threat. Somebody watch her. Once? No, I want to meet her over and over again. Haha, <laughs> I bet. Alright, how's this for a plan? We head to the village mentioned in the report that we suspect Isis's hometown. Uh-huh. And if we're able to learn more about Isis, then we'll find her through sheer determination, since I'm guessing that she's still roaming around this world somewhere. Through sheer determination? Once we find her, we'll take her back to her hometown and show her that the village is now basically just ruins. When she sees her rundown old home it is, since she doesn't want to go back into the mirror either, she'll want to settle down somewhere she finds the most comfortable. That would be Tempest! Mother might come live with us. Man. Shinsha is making assumptions. It's like there are a hundred villages that could be just as good as Tempest. Like, I mean, just because Rimuru is extra nice doesn't mean that she wants to live in this village. Because we've already talked about, she kind of hates Rimuru and she kind of hates Shinsha. That's the plan. Alright, let's head to the Witch Village tomorrow. Definitely! Wow! I'm so excited that I won't be able to get any sleep. Probably. 
But every time you make plans, something always has to... Ahem. I'm here, Rimaru. Well, that was sudden. What's the occasion? Hey, I come to visit you anytime, regardless of occasion. Anyway, I want to ask you a, for a favor. Hmm. His voice sounds really weird. Like, I don't know. His voice is just super distorted. I don't know if that's the actual voice actor or just something is fishy with this guy. Yeah? Wow. Is this a Pegasus? It's beautiful. Huh? 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 He gave her a second and third look. Yikes! Gazelle has incredible perception and can see right through people. Hello, I'm Shinsha. Explain yourself. Who is this girl? She looks just like you. If you had gone down a completely different path of evolution. It looks like you if you had gone down a completely path of evolution. That's a weird way to say that she looks like you. Like, who says that? I guess, like, if you really wanted to say that about someone's twin, like, if someone went down a completely different path of evolution. Yeah, that's about right. Well, be kind to her. I'll decide whether she's worthy of my kindness. Hey, Shinsha! Okay. Draw your weapon. I don't have one. Then borrow one. From Rimuru. And face my sword. What? He did the same thing with me before too. Here, take this sword. Use it to show him that you're just a friendly slime with no malice. A sword? Why do so many of your friends want to fight me from the get-go? That I wonder myself. Alright, well, let's take him down. Let's see how this goes. Damn, instantly. Let's see. Orange... ...can turn green into orange. Hmm. Nope, I guess I just gotta attack the free move. Yeah, yeah. Damn! Damn! Like, shit, he's wrecking us. That's like 10% of damage, and he did like 20 and 25. Like, damn! Mill him! Uh... No. Jeez! I guess he basically has all his boosts, like from when it, you're using him yourself, or no? Yeah, he, he has much better boost than as if you were using him. I've used that character so many times, and so it is surprising to see critical resistance and own critical rate. Let's see, green into orange. Man, we are just getting shit luck right now with these orbs.
Tempest Protection. Okay, I need to get Millam out. Because unfortunately, she cannot handle this. No way. Let's go with that. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. He has his. Let's see. Can do Rimuru's ult. Now Soy's about to die. Ugh. The struggle. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Go with that. Increase on critical rate, damage for five turns. Okay, let's just hit him with everything. I forget who d has more damage. 5,000. Oh. Alright. Uh... Nope. Don't want to do that. And that gives Benny Maru his, and that makes halfway for Isis for his. God damn it! He does shit for damage. I, I think he has less resistance to magic. Damn, we're only at 40% and this dude is rocking our... Ooh. Damn! Damn, he rocking us hard! The hell? Okay, orange to blue. Let's see, increase all critical resistance. And how much health does he have? Currently? He has 123 out of 193. Like, goddamn! God damn! Alright, let's put these three buffs on. There we go. Uh, Alright. Hopefully he aims for Rimaru. I need him to aim for people more left, not right. <laughs> Come on, critical. Eight thousand. Damn! Why? Why her? I don't understand. Is he just sexist? Milam is a valuable part of this team, and I don't appreciate him aiming for her. Critical resist, increase on critical rate. Uh, on critical rate by 100%. Let's go with that. Come on. 
on. Milam, I need you to do big dammy. Big dammy. Drago Nova. Fourteen thousand. Okay. Ooh, okay. Thank goodness. Thank you for hitting Rimuru. Ah, oh, I appreciate that. Okay, I think Milam's a little dried up right now. I don't think she can help me out too much. But I don't want her to die because she has some useful abilities. Damn. I'm really left in a hard spot here. Ooh! He almost killed them. Ah, oh, but man, he, he's about to kill some people right now. So, wait. It's Milim that can do orange into blue. And I really need that. This is basically our last, last resolve attack. If he attacks us multiple times. Let's see, orange into blue. There we go with that. Yep, this is our best chance. Damn, 9,000. Attack Milam! Oh no, it's Benimaru. The second worst choice here. Don't attack multiple- Oh, okay. Damn it! You had to hit her. You bastard. Okay, well, at least they got their ults. Okay, well, it's all Soy's attack, so... This might be a very close victory or a very close loss. We'll see. Come on, slice him! 7,000. Ooh! I gotta hope it's one attack on Rimaru. No. Okay, this is about to be a slug match here. We got to see who does what to who. It's time for the battle of the kings. The kingdom of Dorgan versus Tempest. Gazelle versus Rimuru. We'll see who's stronger tonight. That. Finish! Hell yeah! He's dead! Eat a dick! Respectfully, my senior, you can die. Oh my god. That was way too damn tough for whatever reason. Oh. Oh my god. All right, well, I think that's where I'll call it there for today. I hope you guys are enjoying Slime Isekai memories. That was way too damn intense. Like, damn. These battles that they've been putting on. I don't know. Like, I know the number of EP is going higher per battle, but... Like, shit. I was able to do this one easy, but then this one... I guess it's just because my dark team was, uh, like, more prepared, or I guess my space team was more prepared. But yeah, the story is looking pretty interesting right now. Uh, I mean, my mind was pretty boggled for this entire story part because of stuff I already said there, but I'm gonna just save that because I already said my peace of mind on it. 
But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed Slime Isekai Memories. If you guys did, please make sure to follow me on all my social medias, like my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, my DLab, my TikTok. Make sure to like and comment on everything. And even follow me on my new social medias, like my Kick, where I stream occasionally, my Rumble, Odyssey, and Daily Motion, where I also post my videos if you prefer those sites. And even join my Discord. There you can stay up to date with everything I choose to do, watch my streams, videos, or anything else. But yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.